Hey, what is up everyone? Norman from Future Studio University here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up product flavor dependent dependencies on Android. So let's look at an example. In this app, we are having two product flavors, a free version, which is ad supported, and a premium version, which costs money, but has no ads. Since the app is ad supported, at least in the free version, we need to pull in the Google Play services ads dependency. Now this is only necessary for the free version, but the premium version is still going to contain all the code and the resources for it, even though it's never going to access it. So in the next few minutes, I will show you how to slim down your app and remove unnecessary dependencies. So the first step is to change the compile up here. Right now, it says compile, and that means it will get added to all the product flavors. But we can change that, for example, to free compile, which means this dependency is only going to be added to the free product flavor. If we would also need it in the premium version, we could change this one to premium. Now it will be added to both product flavors. But since the premium version doesn't have any ads, we're going to remove this line and say only the free version has ads. Let's sync our project. And if you try to build the free app now, we will see it will actually run through and everything will work just as before. But if you try to build the premium version of it, it will throw an error. Now why is that? So if we look at it in our add display class, we are referencing the add view. If you're in our premium build variant, we won't have a reference to the class since we removed the dependency. So the next step we have to do is split up the code of this add display class between the free version and the premium version. So what you have to do is you select the class, you copy and paste, and change down here the selection to premium. If Android Studio doesn't offer you the selection, you have to create it manually in Final. So let's select premium, click OK. I know we have two versions of the add display class, the premium version and the general version. For the premium version, since it's not going to show any ads and it doesn't have the code, you can just remove the ad view and return now. All right, the second step is to do the same for the free version. So let's select the free product flavor. And we're going to do the same. Copy and paste the add display class, but this time copy to free. Now in the free version, we still want that an ad is displayed. So we leave the code after this. But it's now going to complain that it has this class twice. It has it in the free version and in the general version. So the last step is to remove the general version. What we have achieved now is that in the free product flavor, it's going to pull in the free ad display class. That means it's going to return an actual ad view. In the premium product flavor, it's going to return a null value, as we have seen in the premium version of it. So if we test if everything builds now, We are seeing a success for the premium version, and we are also seeing a success for the free version. So both apps build now, but the premium version doesn't have the ad support anymore. And it doesn't have the code, and doesn't have the resources, so it's effectively a smaller and slimmer app. And that's how you set up product flavor dependent dependencies, reducing the app size, and removing unnecessary resources. If you want to see everything step by step again, feel free to check out the blog post in the description below. If you learned something, you can subscribe to us on YouTube and happy coding.